Welcome back to the final episode of CCTV at ChemCon The Americas with a Halloween theme, Trick or Treat. We start with tricks on the China region, then we treat you on the coverage on K-Reach and then the final coverage of our local reporter TJ. But first, the tips and tricks on the China region. In terms of level 4 notification, but certainly you play a risk that maybe new regulation come up, you, you need a, there's a tonnage regulation for existing chemicals. So that's one, one thing. Another, another solution, maybe it's a, you, you can do multiple manufacture, or you have multiple importer, so each one register for less than 1,000 tons. So that's another solution. Certainly everything with the cost, with the risk, it's basically it's a business decision. You, you, how do you move forward? As soon as the draft guidance comes out, which I know would be forecast towards the end of the year into next year, no firm timeline, but fundamentally it depends upon which notification type you have because there are some key differences. If you have a scientific research record or simplified notifications, the more basic versions, there is an online tool that you can use to fill and complete this in Chinese. Mm -hmm. And then you can extract that out of the tool and then formally, mechanically submit that to the authorities. Regular notifications are different. This is still in a word-based document preparation tool that you prepare and put forward. Um, one of your earlier questions also was, one of the original questions I remember, was are these platforms going to be put into English? Yes. I think I would collapse and fall off the stage if that happened. <laughs> Taiwan, uh, and, and this makes sense, uh, they, they are um, concerned, of course, uh, with protect, protecting human health and the environment. So that's a, a big mandate, of course, for all of us. And with that as a concept and an umbrella, um, they want to make sure that confidentiality claims are, are not so much that it compromises that. That said, I believe they have um, an over-protective, uh, over-conservative concern uh, that confidentiality uh, claims will somehow uh, not enable, um, uh, you know, good information on the protection of human and health environment to be available. Today I've discussed with Sai Kim and Jin Cho the latest developments on K-REACH. On today's menu, K-REACH. As we all know, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let's find out how it tastes. I will discuss K-REACH today with two Korean chefs, Jin Cho from Camtopia and uh, Sai Kim from Kim and Chang. Welcome. We all expect MOE to announce today uh, approximately 500 substances up for registration. I also know they work extremely hard in finalizing the lower degrees. Um, can you share with us what you expect from these lower degrees? The good news is that uh, we, won't, we shouldn't have to wait much longer for the, them to be released because they should be released. The ministerial decree and the presidential decree should be released the next Couple of day, couple of weeks. Jean, are they taking into account the results from the first and second pilot project? The the second pilot project in progress right now is about the, you know seven substance you know uh, for uh, joint submission. Now it in under you know pro, uh, progress, but um, you know I don't think you know it uh, the result or the you know the the situation will be applied for the you know, final decree. But thing is like you know at least you know, industry will know you know how to compile with the, you know the carriage especially for like you know joint submission uh, so they will learn some of the lesson you know how to you know the prepare the you know carriage uh, actual start. Do you think that local SMEs can afford this? Well, the local SMEs are a, a big concern for the government because they are uh, they do not have the same resources they do not have the same expertise and the. Um, uh, experience from EU reach and so they are actually uh, further behind in pre preparing to transition to K reach than the uh, 
the multinational companies who have K reach or European reach experience. So I think that the government will try um, take try to take that into account and help them as much as possible. But they will be uh, challenged resource wise. Please watch the complete interview on our YouTube channel and website. Also, today's statement is about Korea. When legislations are in development, your best source of information is the legislator. Therefore, I'm very proud to have with us today Ms. Yu Jae-yong from the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy from Korea. Ms. Yu is the Deputy Manager of the Industry and Environment Division and the Climate Change Division. Ms. Yu, welcome to Chicago. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm a Deputy Manager Jae-yong Yu from the Moti of Korea. Um, thank you for giving a chance to participate with a statement of the day. Uh, as you may know, KRIS is published on 2013. Uh, it will be uh, coming to force on 2015. For a smooth, uh, smooth implement of KRIS, Moti, um, Moti is operating Green Chemistry Center with MOE. We promote uh, reporting, testing of new chemicals and risk management. Also enables SMEs uh, learn uh, more experience from experts with financial support. So you see Modi is providing a lot of support to industry. And what is your statement of the day? Are you prepared for carriage on 2015? I think many are still preparing, but share your answer with us. Thank you, Ms. Yu, for being here in the studio. Thank you. It's time to say goodbye to our local reporter, TJ. TJ, what is the final treasure of Chicago you'd like to share with us? Chicago by night, where the roof of the hotel was a magnificent view of Chicago. Did you know that they designed this roof as a Zeppelin dog? All aboard! If Zeppelins would still fly today, with their average speed of 52 miles per hour, it would take you approximately seven days to go all the way to Hong Kong. Of course, depending on the wind, but that would not be a problem. From the Windy City, this was TJ for CCTV. Today's forecast, Korea, k reach guidance and preparation. Thank you for watching, we hope you like it, and looking forward to seeing you in Hong Kong.